Salve Maria! My name is Sister Mary Teresa MacIsaac, and I am from the Heralds of the Gospel. Today, we will continue the story of St. Margaret Mary Alacoc. In the last program, we stopped at the point when she entered the convent. And she says in her memories that when she passed the threshold of the convent, she felt as if her body and her soul were separating from each other. But afterwards, she understood that our Lord was actually cutting off the ties of her captivity. And with her heart full of joy, she exclaimed, It is here that God wills me to be. She had never known before what it was like to be guided and directed by others. In her life, in all circumstances, she had always had to stand on her own. And so, Sister Anne Françoise, her mistress of novices, started to teach her and guide her. And she was full of joy to be able to obey someone. She asked Sister Anne what she was supposed to do at the moment in the convent when everyone did mental prayer. She asked what that meant, mental prayer, she didn't know. And Sister Anne Françoise was astonished because a girl, 23 years old, did not know how to make mental prayer. And she said, oh, this is so simple. Just place yourself in front of our Lord like a blank canvas in front of a painter. Sister Margaret Mary did not understand what that meant, but she was afraid to ask and she was afraid to say that she had not understood. But at the same moment, she heard a voice inside her saying, Come and I will teach thee. It was our Lord. And our Lord explained to her that the blank canvas was her own soul and that he desired to paint on her soul the features of his suffering. At that moment, she says in her memories that she felt her soul being emptied. And at the same time, her soul started being enkindled with a desire, an ardent desire of suffering and of love of our Lord. Sister Margaret Mary obtained from her superiors permission to do penances, but she started extending her permissions making penances more severe than she was supposed to. St. Francis de Sales, her founder, appeared to her and reproved her very severely. What is this, my daughter? Do you think that you are pleasing God in surpassing all the limits of obedience? Obedience is the foundation of my order and not penance. She received the habit of novice on August 25th 1671, two months after her entrance in the convent. Our Lord said that on that day, he had acquired a new right over her and made her taste the sweetest and most delightful gifts of his love. She was so happy and consoled that she could not hide her joy. And everyone in the convent, all the sisters, realized that she was receiving extraordinary graces from our Lord. Her superiors reproved her and said that her radiance was not part of the spirit of a true daughter of Our Lady of the Visitation. That was a great suffering for Sister Margaret, because they told her that she had to pray like the rest and that she could not be different than the other sisters. So when our Lord appeared to her as her spouse and filled her heart with his divine happiness, she had to turn away from him. Because of Sister Margaret's strange attitudes, during her meditation time, her superiors prohibited her to pray in the chapel. So she was supposed to pray and meditate while she was sweeping so that she would not enter in ecstasies. She desired humiliations and mortifications, but she was denied all the mortifications that she asked for. And on the contrary, she received all the humiliations that she did not look for. And she complained to our Lord, because of that, and our Lord said to her, Acknowledge that you can do nothing without me, and I will never let you lack help as long as you put your weakness in my strength. The day of her profession of vows was approaching, but her superiors told her that she had not acquired the spirit of the visitation. So Sister Margaret started getting worried if she would actually be accepted in the order. And she complained to our Lord, asking him, Will you be the, co the cause of my being sent away? And our Lord answered her, 
tell your superiors not to fear in accepting thee, and that I will always answer for thee. She transmitted the message of the Sacred Heart to her superior, and her superior told her to ask our Lord to assure that always she would be able to follow the rule of the visitation. Our Lord said, My daughter, I will grant thee all this. From now on, I will adjust my own graces to the spirit of your rule, to the will of your superiors, and to your own weakness. I want you to prefer the will of your superiors to mine own, and I reserve to myself your heart and soul, because in your heart I have founded the empire of my pure love, and that I will never yield to others. Please join us next time to find out more about the revelations of the Sacred Heart of Jesus to St. Margaret Mary Alacoque. Salve Maria!